All right, so Global literally went from zero hype, like no hype whatsoever, to all the hype in one data download. And there is a lot of news, a lot of stuff to talk about here. Um, I don't really even know where to start, to be honest. But, you know, okay, let's start with the one and only Kawhi's Twitter page and start with a few images. So this is the first one. That's the second one. That's the third one. And that's the fourth one. Okay, so a lot of stuff to unpack here, right? <laughs> a lot of stuff to unpack here. Number one, uh, Trunks and Zamasu. The Trunks and Zamasu Tool Dokkan Fest is officially the next big celebration on Global. We are getting it, um, I think, sometime within the next two weeks, like around the 10th or so, is when we can expect these banners to drop. Maybe a little bit later, maybe a little bit before. I'm not about, like I'm not 100% sure about the exact date, but um, probably sometime in the first half of November, we're getting these banners. And not only that, not only are we getting these banners, we're also getting Dokkan Fest tickets like we have in the past, kind of a global exclusive thing. And the way it's gonna work is that we're gonna be getting tickets for every multi we do on each of the banners. Basically, every multi will give you a random number, I think somewhere between like two to five, and then you can take those tickets and summon on a separate banner that's uh, basically the same banner just with just with tickets right guys i don't know i don't know if you can tell i'm like <laughs> stumbling all of my words right now i'm so excited like i woke up to this and i'm like oh my god i didn't i don't know how to feel about this right now because it's just been so so dead on global and oh, this feels good this feels good okay so we're getting the tickets right for doing multis but on top of that on top of that we're also getting like event uh or not events missions we're getting missions to get free tickets too so even for people that don't even summon on the banners with stones you can still get a couple tries so as you can see um, you can get a super ticket or an extreme ticket for clearing two stages or any of the stages two times and according to Kawhi there's gonna be um, three no there's gonna be four days where we can get one ticket of each type so in total I'm assuming it's gonna be four tickets for free for both banners and I mean, it's not a multi, obviously. 10 tickets would have been nice to be able to do a multi, but um, still, four singles, if that's the case, four singles per banner is for free is, is not bad at all. And of course, on top of the fact that we're getting, we're getting tickets, we're doing multis, and also there should be discounts too. So it should be three plus one. So not only are we getting three plus one discount, we're also gonna get uh, tickets for each multi. We're also gonna get tickets for free. It's just gonna be great value, guys. Overall, great, great value for these banners. Um, <laughs> the, the units are awesome. You know what? Let me, let me show you guys the banners real quick. Oh, uh, one other thing I actually need to mention is that it looks like that it's going to be like the Trunks and Zamasu Dual Dokkan Fest is going to be part of the Thank You Celebration. So what I'm thinking is they're combining the Dual Dokkan Fest and also the Thank You Celebration or the Tenabata Celebration that JP had um, on Global. It's called the Thank You Celebration like we had last year. And we should also be getting the Thank You banner for that too. So uh, we'll talk all about that in just a second. But let's start with the Trunks banner first. And then we'll talk about the Zamasu banner and then we'll move on to the thank you celebration banner, okay? So this is the, the Trunks banner, and I'm assuming that it's gonna be very similar uh, when it comes to global, if not with like one or two units switched out, but I mean, I wouldn't put, put it ban past Bandai to just give us the exact same banner um, because they've been known to do that in the past. So we'll have to see, but even if the banner stays completely unchanged, it is a very, very solid banner, don't get me wrong guys. So of course we have the new Trunks, and we'll get into his details in a second too after we look at the banners. Um, so he is right there, and uh, he's excellent, like I said. And then we also have the AGL Gogeta, who is still an absolute beast. If you guys don't have him, uh, definitely like huge boost to the value of this banner right here to get your first copy. But even if you do need dupes, let's say he's not rainbowed, dupes are always nice for this guy, right? And then we have Physical Future Trunks, who is definitely underwhelming. Uh, don't get me wrong, man. I, I I try to defend this guy when I can, but uh, we also have AGL Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. He's been back quite a few times, but um, awesome, awesome unit. Again, if you don't have him, also Tech Vegito Blue, still the hardest hitting TUR in the entire game, guys. Um, he sold that title for like a year and a half to two years now. That's, that's pretty crazy. Pretty freaking crazy. And then we have this Trunks who, I mean, is not good right now by any measure, but once he gets an easy A, 
um, he's gonna be good too. So, I mean, <laughs> getting more dupes right now is not a bad thing, I guess, since in the future I'm sure he's gonna be very, very good. Same thing with this uh, physical Vegito Blue. He's actually still quite solid, it's just um, you have better options to run over him, like even the STR LR Vegito Blue, I think is a better option. So until he gets an EZA, which will happen, um, and that will make him just stupid good. Until then, he's not gonna be great, but uh, getting dupes right now is also not bad. So that is the banner for Tech Trunks. And for Zamasu, I honestly find this one to be quite a bit more exciting. Um, we have the Zamasu himself right there. And also Physical Broly, who I definitely, definitely need dupes of, so I will gladly take him if he, uh... Well, let's just hope they keep the movie units on these banners, because, I mean, if they're gonna switch anything out, it better not be the Broly and the Gogeta, I'm just saying. And we also have Int Goku Black, we have AGL Turles, we have STR Goku Black, Rosé. Um, still a stupid, stupid good unit, like, so, so useful on so many teams. And then also Tech Zamasu or uh, Fusion Zamasu, and also AGL Rosé, and both these guys I'm sure will get easy A's as well in, in the, I want to say near future, but like sometime next year, so they're going to be amazing too after that, and uh, SR Zamasu too, so those are the banners guys. Um, overall I would say still great value, they have been devalued unfortunately because of the um, LR Cell and LR Gohan Dual Dual Confess where we got a lot of these units back um, from those banners, so I mean, I guess from that perspective, definitely a little bit less exciting, but nonetheless, man, I mean, it's been, <laughs> it's been so dry on Global, like seriously, I cannot, I cannot overstate how boring Global has been for the past couple weeks, that uh, the fact we're getting this massive dual token fest is, is just, it's awesome, man, it is really, really awesome, so, these are the banners. Uh, for Trunks and Zamasu, as you guys saw, Trunks is amazing, Zamasu is amazing, the rest of the banners are also um, filled with a lot of great units, some of the best extreme and uh, super types in the game. I honestly think that, yeah, no, I think Zamasu's banner is better. I think Zamasu's banner is better. I think Trunks might be the better overall unit, but Zamasu's banner definitely wins in the comparison. So that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. Okay. So next up is the Thank You Celebration banner, and uh, like I said, it's called the Thank You Celebration, at least the mission says that, like one, the one we saw earlier. So I'm assuming that we're also getting the Thank You banner here, and I mean, just looking at this image gets you excited, right? Like, <laughs> it does for me at least, man. Looking at the L L L LR Super Saiyan 4s, the LR Gohan and Goten, um, three of the top like five units in the game right there. Uh, gets me pretty hype, man. These two do not. The two fusions at the bottom do not, but they already have enough to bait us into summoning, so they gotta fill it with some other stuff that, like, people not, might not necessarily want, right? And, um, you know, <laughs> on that note, look at how many featured SSRs there are, man. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, wait, hold on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 times 3, 21, a minus 1 for this guy, so 20 SSRs. 20 SSRs featured. Actually, I probably could have just looked. Yeah, I could have looked here. I don't know why I keep doing that. I, I, I always know I can, you can look at the featured SSRs, but I just like count it anyways. Doesn't really matter. It has the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, LR Gohan and Goten. Uh, this is an amazing support, this Gohan right here. And then basically it looks like all the 120 leads. Uh, not all of them actually. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so we have six 120 leads and then a bunch of extremely awakenable units, like the 70% leads and stuff like that. And also Omega Shenron and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Okay, so overall, I mean, if you guys are fairly new and you're missing a lot of these units, this banner could actually be a really, really good value banner to summon on, especially since they gave us regular rates, not like the last thank you celebration where they decreased the feature rate, um, which was just a stupid awful move by Bandai and I really hope they never do that again but they learned their lesson from last year so this year we are getting regular rates of 5% but with 20 featured SSRs getting a specific one you want like the GoBros or the Super Saiyan 4 uh, Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is going to be pretty tough but it's definitely possible and like I said a lot of these guys are really good units still um, especially the ones with easy A's right now and the 120 leads are going to get easy A's eventually you guys know you guys know like the 120 leads are going to be um, 
the candidates, next candidates for EZAs after they're done with the 70% leads. If you guys are fairly new, then they're all good units. All the featured SSRs are great, great units. But of course, the main prizes here are uh, these guys. Nope, not including that guy. These guys. Okay, you know what? They won't let me not highlight this guy. So let's say he's in it too. But these three, the Go Bros, the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, definitely the main prizes and i hope you guys get them if you do decide to summon i'm assuming you know I'm, I'm gonna go on a limb and say that there's probably gonna be some kind of ticket just like the halloween ticket we recently got um where we can buy in the pilaf's trove and do like a giant multi on this banner too and i mean as much as i would like to say that i'm gonna skip that one i can't if they're gonna if they're gonna sell us a ticket they're gonna sell us a thank you ticket to summon on this banner i'm probably gonna do it so uh, we'll have to see about that one but um that is the thank you banner right there for the thank you celebration so we're getting this one most likely as well as the Zumasu and trunks banners and let's now take a look at the units themselves for anybody that is not 100 percent in the know so we're starting with the trunks here his leader skill is future saga category key plus three HP and attack plus 170% or defense and defense plus 130% or super class P plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 120% so this guy essentially has the leader skill of AGL transforming Goku in addition to being a new future saga leader and his super attack is shining slash raises attack and causes immense damage to enemy passive is for this world attack and defense plus 100% transform when conditions are met and these guys literally have the best transformation conditions in the world because it's just transform starting from the third turn from the start of battle like super simple super clean no hp restriction no enemy restriction no ally restriction all that nonsense that we recently got just three turns which is awesome and his links say in warrior race uh say in lineage royal lineage um, Messenger from the Future, Dismal Future, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and he's got a lot of categories too. Hybrid Saiyans, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Vegeta's Bond, Transformation Boost, Super Saiyans, and Master Student Bond. And then once he transforms after three turns, he becomes a Super Saiyan Future Trunks, and his super attack is going to be uh, Galley Gun, raises attack and defense, and causes supreme, or sorry, immense damage to enemy. And his passive is for, for the future to protect. I don't know about that translation. Anyways, uh, attack and defense plus 120%, key plus 1 and up to up to 4, and an additional attack and defense plus 10% up to 80% from the start of each turn. And his active skill is Miraculous Power, Enhanced Form, can be activated starting from the next attacking turn. So basically, um, on the third turn he'll transform, the next time he comes back, you'll be able to use the active skill to uh, go into his Enhanced Form and um, the two links that change once you go super saiyan are super saiyan of course and golden warrior all right so that is his transform state and finally once you use the active skill he becomes enhanced super saiyan trunks future and his super attack will now cause immense damage to enemy and massively lowers defense by the way quick tip if you guys are bringing him onto like the legendary goku event don't transform him don't use his uh active skill because in his non-enhanced form is when he uh, stacks attack and defense infinitely so if you want him to get like stupid crazy attack uh, or and defense actually then definitely keep him in his regular super saiyan form because it's gonna be a lot more effective that way and okay anyways his enhanced form immense damage massively lowers defense and his passive is attack plus 30 percent and defense plus 10 percent per key sphere obtained attacks effective against all types, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to tech key spheres once only. So he does become a nuker, but a very, very good one. Attack plus 30%, defense plus 10% per key sphere obtained. And also he gets the Gogeta attacks effective against all types mechanic too, which is super, super awesome. Okay, so <laughs> that is his new passive once he gets into his final form. And uh, Super Saiyan Golden Warrior, of course, are still there. And that is all you need to know about the Tech Trunks. Now let's move on to Zamasu real quick. True Power of the Gods, Zamasu. Realm of Gods, Category K plus 3. HP, Attack and Defense plus, oh, sorry, HP and Attack plus 70%. And Defense plus 130%. Or Extreme Class, K plus 3. HP, Attack and Defense plus 120%. Same as uh, the Transforming Tech, Frieza. And his Super Attack, Fierce God Arrow. Causes immense damage 
and greatly lowers defense. Passive is attack plus 100%, reduces damage received by 40%, recovers 7% HP whenever HP is 70% or below, performs Batara Fusion when conditions are met. Okay, so he reduces damage by 40%, so he's a good tank in that sense. Attack with 100% is okay, recovers 7% HP when HP is 70% or below, um, and this is infinite, like this, it's not like one time only. So anytime your HP drops below 70%, he heals for 7%, which uh, could be pretty helpful, could be pretty useful. Okay, so perform Patara Fusion starting from the third turn from the start of battle, just like the Trunks. Links are power bestowed by God, Cold Judgment Prodigies, gold, God, Gold... <laughs> Godly Power, Dismal Future, Fear and Faith, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Realm of Gods, Patara, Future Saga, Transformation Boost, and Time Travelers. Alright, so that is the uh, form he starts off in. Then he fuses with Rose to become Fusion Zamasu. And now his super attack is Lightning Up Absolution. Um, causes immense damage to enemy and greatly lowers defense. And his passive is key plus 2, attack plus 120%, reduces damage received by 80%, and recovers 10% HP whenever HP is 80% or below. And then he has an active skill. Oh, the links that change are Nightmare, Fuse Fighter, and Big Bad Bosses. Then he goes into his deformed, deformed form after you use the active skill and can be activated starting from the next attacking turn. So just like Trunks, um, he, trans he transforms first and then the turn after he'll be able to um, transform again with the active skill. So once we go into the grotesque form, or, or sorry, deformed form, whatever you want to call it, God Hammer is the super attack, immense damage, and massively lowers defense. He plus four, attack plus 280%. 280%. That's not, that's not a mistake. It's actually 280%. That's, it's, oh my gosh, just crazy. Reduces damage received by 20%, so they nerfed that a little bit to... Um, I guess balance out the damage, da the attack buff right there, and also disables enemy guard, super attack allies, attack minus 10%. So ideally you would want to run like a full extreme team if possible. Um, disables enemy guard is great, it's going to allow him to do more damage, and uh, still getting a bit of damage reduction is still, it's always good to have. I mean, I would have preferred to still have the 40 obviously, but um, I mean, I, I get it, I get it. They had to you know, reduce this a little bit to account for 280% attack. That's crazy. Key plus four basically means he's gonna get he's gonna be able to super every single turn, especially when linked with like Rose or something. And um yeah, those are the cards guys. That's the trunks, that's the monster right there. And yeah, that's everything. So guys, global players, um all my fellow global people that have been suffering with me for the last uh, a couple weeks, just absolutely nothing to do in this game. Um, it's about to heat up once again. Things are about to get exciting. I hope you guys are hyped just like I am. I am extremely, extremely hyped. I can barely get my words out in this video. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's been uh, it's been a tough one to do, man. This video has been tough to get through just because I, I can't re really talk right now. So, guys. Trunks and Zamasu Dual Dogon Fest with tickets, with missions to get the tickets as well. And um, obviously the thank you celebration, thank you banners, return of the LR Super Save 4s, and also the GoBros. And uh, that's it. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are hyped for all this. Or if you're skipping, because di we did just see the... Um, STR transforming cooler banner and that's a pretty busted banner right there so um, I mean I wouldn't blame anybody if they wanted to skip this celebration I mean I wouldn't recommend it but I wouldn't blame me if you want to skip it for something else uh, like the cooler fully understandable but let me know what, what you plan to do with your stones in the comments down below if you're hyped for this or you're skipping or something else and that's it guys thank you so much for watching as always if you like the video i think i already said this if you like the video make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media Signing out.